The final day's racing in the Cows Round of the iShares Cup took place on Monday in conditions that were even more challenging than the previous two days. Nine extreme porters lined up for the final six races, with Alinghi out to defend their lead from Team Origin and BMW Oracle Racing. Six furious races later and it was a Lingy which crossed the finish line in the final double points race to take the winner's position on the podium. Ed, congratulations on winning the Cavs round of the iShares Cup. Yeah, how was it? Wow, well, it was obviously fun to win, but it was a, just a crazy week with uh, big waves, big current, boats going through the race course, and uh, you know, lots of carnage at many of the mark roundings. So <laughs> it was crazy. How were you so consistent? Well, you know, I have to really say that uh, the team sailing with me here has just been fantastic in figuring out how to sail together in these boats. Um, you know, we, we, if we had to race in this event as our first race, we would have struggled. But we've been coming together and practicing and working at it and, and talking about it, and they've done a great job. But you haven't been sailing the extreme forces for very long, um, and you're up against some teams that have got a bit more experience. Um, how have you come to the top so quickly? Well, we just do, we, we use a lot of adrenaline and a lot of panic and uh, <laughs> get out there and try our hardest. And what do you think of the Solent Breezes and more importantly the Solent Chop? 
Well, the chop comes up quickly when the, the current is against the wind. And, uh, you know, usually we can tell when there's some bad wind coming because there's uh, a lot of boats up, upwind of us coming downwind in other classes that are wiping out. So when we see that starting to happen, we know we better start shortening sail. What's the difficult time? Is, is it a bear away around the windward mark? Yeah, bearing away at the top mark in, in the strong wind and especially in the waves, it makes it uh, real challenging. And it's a, it's a full team maneuver to get everything correct uh, to make sure that you go around there safely. And a lot of people got it wrong this week. And has it been an extra edge here with uh, racing against um, BMW, BMW Oracle? Well, we're excited that they're here and uh, they're trying to do the same thing we are, just learn how to sail these boats and, and do the best we can. Uh, it was it was nice to uh, beat them, but really we came here to try and win and, and beat everybody. So uh, happy that we were able to. So tell us, you know, what is happening on the America's Cup front? Oh, well, we had a, a, a number of uh, situations this week. Of course, the, the appeals court said that uh, that we were uh, right and now that appeal is being appealed. So uh, we don't know what the, what the future is right at the moment. We're just trying to prepare for the worst case scenario, which is that uh, we'll have to sail against BMW Oracle in a, a big multi-hull. Wouldn't that be quite exciting though? I mean, a big version of the Extreme Forces. Well, it would be very exciting. Uh, and it, and the, the process to get where we are has been tremendously exciting. But it's not the cup that we wanted. We, we want to have all the teams involved. We want to have it be a, a big uh, international spectacle, which it deserves to be. Ed, we wish you luck in the next round of the iShares Cup and thanks for talking to us. Thank you.